All right, guys, uh, back out here at Aztec, and you guys really seem to like my first how-to video. So we have this downhill triple at Aztec, uh, kind of downhill. Um, there is quite a bit of run. You really don't need to see bounce this one, but it is a good... It's a good jump. I want to show you guys seat bouncing. So really all it is, we're going to sit down as we hit the jump and that's going to compress the rear suspension. As you can see, it's uncompressed and that compresses it down. So when we hit the jump, it's going to fling us. And then the thing we got to remember is when we hit the jump, we need to stand up and not remain seated because it is going to fling us. We need to get into a position to be ready to land and, and fly and then land. So um, I'm going to come around a few times, seat bounce this and hook this triple for you. Okay, we're coming in second gear here. Gonna cut this corner kind of short right here. Gonna sit down all the way up the face. So there was our seat bounce. It's just, all it is is sitting down as you go up the face of the jump, compressing that rear suspension, and then when you hit the jump, it, the, the rear end pops and it gives you that extra lift to clear a jump. Like I said, this jump, you really don't need it, but it is a good one to try and show um, on the video. But you can't hit this jump both ways. I'm not saying you have to seat bounce this. Usually a seat bounce jump is one right out of a corner where you really need some extra pop and extra, extra oomph to get over something. So uh, let's just go right in front here and do this again. I'm actually gonna shift to third this time, but here we go, so. So again, you really don't wanna be sitting down when you get into the air. You wanna sit down and as you go off the face, then you push up into a standing position. And that's gonna allow you to, to control your bike and fly how you want, because when you seat bounce, since you are loading up that rear suspension and then popping it, it's gonna compress and then pop. So it is very possible that a seat bounce done wrong or on a poor jump or like a kicker can potentially throw you over the bars. So it's definitely something to keep in mind and make sure you're hitting the jump nice and uh, nice and even and ready to stand up so you can control it, whether with that, that's a, a panic rev to bring the front end back up or a brake tap like we talked about last week. So let's get us some room here and then uh, hit it again. Now, like I said, we're hitting the corner in second, up shift into third, and then C bouncing that triple. So first now, second. Break into this. And that is your C bounce. So hopefully the video for my dad on the third person perspective really shows the uh, sitting down and getting that pop. But what I'm gonna do now is actually hit it standing up for you guys. So you can just kind of see the difference. So that one, we did not see bounce. Like I said, this jump you really don't need it for, but I feel it's a good one to demonstrate the technique of a seat bounce on. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for the how-to seat bounce on this triple. We got my buddy Bronson here on a 125, he's going to huck it. So he actually did seat bounce it. As he came up to it, he sat down and got that pop. Now what you need to remember is you don't need to seat bounce everything. If you're gonna seat bounce it, it's gonna spring you up high into the air. You're gonna be in the air longer, but it's getting you that distance. If you're in a high speed section like this jump for me on a 450, it works better to stand up because as you hit the jump, you can kind of soak it up instead of using all that energy to go up higher. You go, you, you go forward with it. So this jump, hitting it sitting down, is most likely slower than standing up. But like Bronson on the 125, he has to sit down to clear it. So uh, only use the seat bounce when you need it, really out of a corner trying to clear a jump. But uh, hopefully this video helped. Leave a like if it did. Let me know in the comments and uh, tell me what you'd like to see me do a how-to of next. Watch Trey here. He's on a 250 two-stroke, so he didn't need the extra energy to seat bounce it. He hit it standing up. but. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, as always, take it easy. If it's easy, take it twice. We'll talk to you later.
Can you try to get the exact same shot as last time, like from the same spot? Uh, 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 yeah, wherever you were on that last time through. Okay. 